and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Z. We're going to be trying out some new updated cards with Yasuo. Uh, biggest thing that was buffed with Yasuo is Steel Tempest. Now only costs two mana, and so that's pretty. It's gonna be pretty um, exciting to try out two mana Steel Tempest. I feel like that's like that's just not very much mana, right? Especially when you're talking about spell mana. So super easy to cast Steel Tempest and cast other things. Um, so yeah, that'll be exciting to try this one out. Uh, Shadow Assassin not looking super exciting at. A one two and so we're gonna actually try river shaper in the shadow assassin slot that will be um again you know it'll be good to try out you know maybe this will work out maybe it won't but um you know river shaper should be drawing us some spells hopefully whenever it strikes we're not like necessarily trying to protect river shaper all the time and having it strike you know a ton but hopefully it strikes once gets us a spell and it trades with something um, we do have some twin disciplines that can protect it, but then but twin disciplines are also going to be there to protect our Zed and our Yasuo. That's also important. Um, a couple of intimidating roars, just two two Will of Ionia now with it costing five mana, and then we got our nice three two one top end with the Reckoners, Yones, and Swiftfoot. Um, man, you can so you can play five you can pay five mana for a Will of Ionia, or you can pay nine mana for three Will of Ionias and a six five. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So yeah, that's that's kind of our deck. <clears throat> no more Crimson Disciple. Going Legion Grenadier. Legion Grenadier is a really good blocker. 3-2. Good body. You know, you get that extra damage in there too. That's nice. Um, so yeah, I think Legion Grenadier fits in this deck pretty well. So let's see how it does. Alright, so we're going to go play uh, five games over in Ranked. And let's see how our new Yasuo deck performs did you think too deep the deep meditation oh um no deep meditation is kind of expensive at five mana i think i'd rather have river shaper i like I like that uh, card that you know affects the board and everything like it does am i gonna keep concussive palm probably not no we'll just keep the zed Yeah, I, I think I like River Shaper more, but that's that'll, that's an interesting uh, card to consider. So we can, you know, while we're playing, we can kind of see is River Shaper better than like Deep Meditation would be. It's an interesting, uh, yeah, interesting card to just to consider there. Puff, you want to come over here? Here, Puff. Wow, you need, you need to jump better. Come on. There you go. Fuse is lit! Puppy. Victory at any cost! No, no, no! Ah! Okay, cool. Got the Yasuo. I can certainly see Zed dying to grasp the Undying, but that's life. Cool. Not grasp the Undying, we'll be able to go straight to combat. Please no one drop, let us go straight to combat. Yeah, I like it. Wow. And we got the level up. Still no grasp the Undying. The Blessed Isles lives through me. Uh, yes, we'll play this. Well in my order. I'm nobody's pawn. Cost too much mana, Yone. Success gets you noticed around here. Around here? Around everywhere. So four one probably challenges here, but maybe it challenges Zed. All right, yeah, it's challenging Zed. 
Um, I can shadow shift, but then I just am led with left with Zed in hand. I'm just gonna replay Zed and get a new one of those. I would have liked to have you last turn, Arachnoid Sentry, killing that 4-1. That would have been nice. I was gonna get in my way. Nobody, nobody's getting in my way. I cannot be broken. We can only stun an enemy. We can't stun our own Legion Grenadier to kill our own Legion Grenadier to do one damage to them. So they're likely going to be able to go deep. There's a couple cards away from it. Then Abyssal Eye could challenge Yasuo. I'm sorry. But of course we have we have Yone here uh, to be able to play this turn. They kind of need Ruination. They kind of need Ruination. Yeah. So yeah, this is. Wait, this is the new board. Why do we have Bilgewater music? I just realized that. Did anybody else realize? Anybody else realize that we have Bilgewater music right now? You have taken a dark path. You never did. I didn't. Me. I didn't think anything of it until. Yeah, I guess the new board is kind of bugged there. There's some bugs in the patch. We, there's, a, there's a few little bugs. Just little bugs like that. I'm gonna try to unequip and re-equip. Um, the board's pretty cool. I don't... Is it 20, it's 20 Canadian dollars for it? I don't know if it's worth that. I know it's that expensive. But I just said I had coins left from last time I put coins on the account. It's pretty nice. I mean, it's a neat little board. I know they pirated our music. Those bilge waters people, they're always pirating. Pirates. Okay, sounds like we have the correct music. Burn deck. Intimidating Roar. I'm gonna keep it a super high upside. It has the downside of not doing anything, but if we draw Yasuo, it's super high upside. Look at that. Yeah, so the clickables, basically all of these, um, all of these things are clickable, right, everywhere. The trees. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. And then behind me, My first big mission. there's this thing right here. Try to keep up. I was hoping they didn't block. That thing's clickable. It does that. Of course I'm ready. Oh, I should I should be stunning the Teemo. I forgot I forgot the, the blade twirler was gonna grow. I should just stun Teemo. Sorry. I got distracted. More mushrooms. Hopefully that doesn't cost me the game. And then, yeah. Then, like, all these flowers. 
you can click on all the all the, like the flowers and stuff. You can open and close these. Um, same with that. Life and death on the blade's edge. I think that's about it. No one's the wiser. This is two, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna leveled up Timo. Better run. The Oracle never works here whenever you strike with Timo for some reason. Because like the I don't know the randomness of the puff caps or something. It never it never lets you Oracle whenever there's a Timo. That's that's how it's just been for a long time. Let me show you what I can do. Gross. Some things never die. This is going to do one damage to me. I do have deny to protect Yasuo. I didn't, didn't want to do that before without protection for Yasuo. Uh, maybe they just kill my Yasuo in response, but I don't know. This killing the blade twirler and drawing a card. I don't. I think this is a good deny. GG's. Burn deck's always been too fast for Yasuo, but yeah, with that that hand they just had, that was good. I mean, I I also made the one big mistake, right? With um, with my turn three of not stunning the Teemo. Could have saved me one point of damage and five puff caps. They just oh he, my opponent just drew the the get excited before that. If I would have gone for the intimidating roar of the turn before, yeah, I would have to be a crimson disciple also. The Noxus cards are still good. I don't think that... I don't think that Noxus is dead. Some people think that... Some people thought that Noxus got nerfed too much, and I don't think so whatsoever. I think they're still good. I mean, the Legion Grenadier, I honestly think, is probably an, like an upgrade, to be honest. It's... That's not really a nerf. just Crimson Disciples doing one instead of two. That doesn't mean doesn't mean that their deck's not playable at all. Coming in hot. Victory at any cost. Think you're fast? Cute. 
Um, so yeah, Yasuo Steel Tempest being two mana, pretty important. Oh dang, I was gonna say I have I have two mana. Let's see, this is just okay. It has to be an attacking enemy. Uh, I guess I just walk. They play like vengeance to kill my Yasuo, I'd be okay with that. Play Z and Concussive Palm. Probably need to play Concussive Palm and then Ravenous Flock and kill Maokai with that. Yeah. Seems like they possibly just have another Maokai in hand. This could be just a complete waste. But it feels like the likely outcome is they have another Maokai, but I guess we'll just force them to have another Maokai. It does make them spend all that mana. That seems the likely outcome of them not, not playing any unit besides that. All right, well, I like drawing Reckoner. Give me the stuff! Mm -hmm. Stuff make happy! <laughs> okay, out of Jettisons. No, I guess they could still have one Jettison. Why am I passing? I don't pass, they're just gonna pass back. That's just so much mana I just wasted. I was if I play Reckoner, then I don't have Twin Disciplines to protect Yasuo, but I should just play Reckoner, right? Probably. I am the blade in the darkness. I want to be able to protect. I really wish I could play something first and then play Intimidating Roar. And I guess I could, technically. Could just, I mean, it had to be Twin Disciplines. Nah, that's not worth it. They got Ruination mana. Nah, we're just gonna go straight to combat. So, here we go. Be gone, thief! You defile the grove. Alright, almost dead. Yasuo is obliterated. Well Got to 
it back up. That doesn't seem useful. Yeah, that's not necessary. Save us. Brother, what have you become? If I told you, would you listen? And of course, we're going to be going to the open attack. They'll have three blockers. My best draw step is deny, you puppy. My best draw step is deny some kind of protection spell. Like that. But I guess we kind of only have deny, don't we? Yeah, that's it. That's our only... Besides another Twin Disciplines, like Deny or Twin... Twin Disciplines. Preferably Deny. Wanna see these moves up close? I think this is an okay trade. Instead of instead of just chump blocking and not trading, it's better to trade and get something out of play. Uh, that's a bad sign. Now they have four blockers for my five attackers. I don't have lethal anymore with an open attack. Hmm. Not ideal. There's a lot of things that could go wrong, but it's just kind of what I have to do. They were able to fend me off with one mana Abyssal Eye and two mana Vile Feast. Uh, basically because of Ruination. You know, two turns ago, I could have done the same thing of, of before combat, Intimidating Roar, and take out their two blockers. But then if one of their many cards was Ruination, the game would have been over on the spot, just like it is here. I, I have not seen a, a deep deck without Ruination.
Deny, I need you before. Still not bad because that that this keeps us alive from a, an atrocity. All right, like atrocity doesn't kill me now, so that's good. That's one way to do it. The labs are insane, and you don't like it. I'm excited to try out a new lab. That's that's the thing about labs is they're they're supposed to be insane. They're crazy. Experimental. All right, one and two. Double atrocity. Um, I don't, I don't know if Yasuo is good now. I, I don't know. Yasuo seems the same, kind of the same as always. I don't, I don't think it much has changed with Yasuo. Has, hasn't seemed like from just quick reaction to three games. He did beat Deep the first time. Right, like that was our first win, right? It was deep, and then lost to burn, and then beat deep, and then lost to deep. Yeah, labs are just supposed to be crazy. Just have fun with them. Uh, no, no reason to take them too seriously. Just do crazy stuff. No, I need that ravenous flock back. There are arachnoids entries. <laughs> no, yeah, don't be stressed out about it. Okay, well, I guess we'll get the ravenous flock back. Yeah, because the new lab generates absolutely huge units. Just, yeah, it's crazy. Have fun with it. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Try to keep up. I'm not sure why people hate deep. Maybe it's it's something that you don't interact with, maybe, and so it's just Do they kill you or not kill you? Or like, you know, like do they do they have their enablers that allow them to go deep super fast, or do they not? It's you know, it, it has nothing to do with what deck you're playing or or how you do or anything like that. So it's just solely, do they have their enablers, yes or no? I like this double grenadier, turn four. Deep deck, the deck that uh, you want to just, you know, you, whatever, doesn't matter what cards you put in your deck, you just want to toss them anyway. Well, that's pretty lucky. Do. Yeah. You lack subtlety. 
Pepsi. Basically, I just want them to use like their removal spells on other things, and not on my Zed. Man, their hand's been great. Yeah, they're definitely ahead. Ezreal's one away from leveling up. Love the War Mother Swain deck, Big Alfredo. Nice. Is no substitute for Glad to hear. How much mana we got? We got 11. Ugh, these three together take 12, and we have 11. Why? Death is like the wind. Always Why you gotta be like this? Side. That was Aquilabot that donated that deck from yesterday. The the War Mother Glenhorn. How's how's Aura Glenhorn been for you? It, it, have you have you kept finding that Aura Glenhorn's been good? We didn't use it too much. Will they have deny? Hopefully not. All right, so we know they got spell spell. Hopefully it's five mana Will of Ionia. Or nothing. Just don't play anything. Yeah, I like this. Okay, so you've been putting in okay, you put in you only had once you put in Minotaur Reckoners. How how is, do the Minotaur Reckoners look? Do they do they look good? I'm gonna use Katarina instead of Zed. Um, yeah, Katarina is like a, a better late game card. Zed's a lot better on turn three. Like Zed's a lot stronger at turn three, pressure the opponent. So Zed's really good. My um, own. Katarina really good. In the late game. So they kind of do different things. Um, and so yeah, I guess Zed Zed's more of a threat, especially on turn three. It's more of a threat that maybe if they're dealing with Zed. They don't have the ability to deal with Yasuo. Also, sometimes that will be true all the time. River shape the land and give it life. I don't miss. Here's those spells they didn't play the previous time. Okay, they're just removal spells for Yasuo. Those are the two spells they didn't play in response to the Intimidating Roar. They get the 2-1 blocker for free. Oh, really, Deny? Man, if we would have just drawn the deny the previous turn and kept Yasuo alive, our life would be very good right now. Pick on someone your own speech. I don't know. Am I just supposed to attack? I mean, I can't sit back and win because we can't sit back and beat Ezreal. So I guess I attack. 
Your end is my duty. This is risky. This is that was risky. We'll take it. Thirteen two blade twirler. Will the waters take? Waters are still. Let's go. Let's go. It's true, but I mean Zed's really good too. I'm I'm not mad at having Zed. Zed's really good. And Zed's been very good in our games. Um, but yeah, I understand that Yasuo, or sorry, sorry, that Katarina can do some good stuff, and yeah, it's good with Blade Twirler and things like that. It costs, Katarina's a huge mana investment, and so the deck already has expensive cards with, you know, Reckoner and Yone and Swiftfoot and stuff like that, and so Katarina's just kind of there of another huge mana investment. I don't know, there's, there's pluses and minuses to both. I don't just think that... Zed's always better, Katarina's always better. It's just, it, they're both, they're situational. Um, yeah, we gotta do this. So this is gonna be a tough matchup, you know, Ash, Sejuani. Uh, Frostbite's really good against Yasuo. You know, even if you, even if you have a leveled up Yasuo, they Frostbite it, it doesn't strike. All right, potato. I need just a moment. Take care. No, this is the only form of the board. This is it. I would rather that get culling strike than a blade twirler. That was why I did not lead with Blade Twirler, by the way, was because of Coming Strike. All the world on one arrow. Swiftly now. go that route that uses my mana more gives me this other three power attacker to, to pressure them uh, first frostbite being burst is so rough just always burst it's rough All right, well, two for two. Guide our allies, my friend. Traded Brittle Steel and Culling Strike for the Blade Twirler and Twin Disciplines. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Ugh. That's certainly a big strength of the, the Frostbite midrange deck is that just all their spells are burst. You don't get to deny anything. Yeah, you can't even deny. Even the people that play Fury of the North can't deny that either. Um, so he also has two out of five. Glad we have a deny to protect that. They have played two culling strikes so far. Gotcha. 
Wow, third calling strike. Yeah, I mean, I think that's... I don't, I don't know if the deny does anything ever again. Challenging my 6-6? Six, six? Only I can quell the wind. It'd be really nice to have a Yasuo. It'd be really nice to have a Yasuo. Not that fortunate. You should stay back, cowards. All right, I'll take that. It is me! Go dive! I'll cut them apart. Face me. Cut them down. Up top. Block here. They don't just have like harsh winds, you know, for the for a last card. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. I mean, I think I have to play that. Obviously, they have harsh winds. Set the Kato to being a 5-4 instead of a 6-5 and make them spend more mana to replay it and it keeps my 3-2 alive. Okay, that's that gives us a shot. Not a great shot, but a shot. We need to draw it, stun, recall stuff, like we need to draw a spell. So the problem with this is if they just have another unit, they get to get an easy thing for just another unit, but then the good thing... Oh my gosh. That's just the best possible unit. Oh my gosh, that's about to level up too. We're gonna need something crazy good. That doesn't do it. So the reason to make that attack, if you thought that that attack looked kind of weird, it matured, just draw the best you can. Ash and Sejuani right there. My aim is true. The reason to make that attack is because the our thing only had one health, and with the challenger overwhelmed with the one health, that's you know that's getting pretty risky there. But those are perfect draws. Again. Yeah, the frostbite deck's really good. You know, Triferian tri Assessor drew an extra two cards. They had a lot of things, a lot of variants things go really well from. Yeah, you know, like they played Omen Hawk, the very next draw was the 5 4 Assessor. Like that was perfect. And then, yeah, then the Harsh Winds. Their cards are good. Their cards are good. All right, so that's that's Yasuo Zed. Um, still just kind of the same same problems with Yasuo. It's not like, like Yasuo is necessarily bad. It's just 
you know, it's just kind of average. Like we, we lost to the burn deck that had a great hand. We lost to the frostbite midrange that had a great hand. The thing is we don't really beat great hands. That's kind of the thing about this kind of deck is you don't really beat the great hands. And we did run into two opponents that ran super hot. Um, our other loss was a, a longer game against a deep deck. Uh, you know, just ended up losing that one. Um, we, we we're we we're close, and maybe I played. I was playing around ruination in that one, and maybe if I just didn't play around ruination at all and just went, you know, was as aggressive as I could be, we could have maybe got that one. That might have cost. You know, that could have been could have cost me. Didn't get to do too much with River Shaper. We just didn't draw it very much. Um, it did look just fine whenever we did have it, though. Uh, it looked better than Shadow Assassin when we did have it, but we just didn't draw very much. Grenadier was really good. I liked I liked Grenadier a bunch. I think it was better than what Crimson Disciple would have been. Um, we drew Will of Ionia one time, just that very last game. I think that I think that was the only time we drew Will of Ionia, just the one game, one time. Deny seemed like a card that I wanted more of. Besides that Frostbite midrange deck, I don't know. Deny seemed pretty decent. Um, wish you could play. She could play Entreat and just try to draw Yasuo more. Zed was pretty good, but I understand I understand the theory of like how Katarina can be awesome. I wouldn't mind playing like two Zed one Katarina. Because I do understand that like in some of those games like they go late, Katarina can can be awesome. Maybe I don't know. It maybe maybe Deep Meditation would be better than River Shaper or should be somewhere here. Cause the thing is, is like this is kind of weird. It's like we do have some really expensive cards, but then, then again, we we were running out of cards sometimes too. Um, so it's it's kind of weird. I would say that could we get more stun and recall in here? Maybe less ravenous flock. We weren't leveling up Yasuo super super fast. Ravenous Flock was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was it was just fine. So I don't know. I don't I don't have like game breaking suggestions on what to do. I think that this is just kind of kind of a deck that other decks. Whenever you have like basically other decks, like when uh, like their awesome hands are just going to always be awesome. This deck doesn't really have that high end. It it can. You can set up like a Yasuo plus Intimidating Roar, but basically your for your deck to have awesome hands, it also kind of depends on what your opponent plays. Because um, it's not like Yasuo plus Intimidating Roar is always awesome, because maybe you're playing against a control deck that's not playing units, or maybe you're playing against Frostbite Midrange where all of their things are 5 plus power, and then you're just looking at your Intimidating Roar that doesn't do anything. So it's like... Um... You, you really need your cards to line up against your opponent with this kind of deck. And it's not just like a burn deck that just has an amazing burn hand that it doesn't matter what your opponent has. If you have an amazing burn hand, you're going to win. Um. Yeah. I could definitely see playing a third deny to just try to protect Yasuo. It feels like, feels like all you need, all you want is like Yasuo and play, and then all you want are like spells and things to like protect Yasuo. I mean, obviously, I guess Minotaur, Reckoner, you know, like these kind of count, but you know, like you want to be able to protect Yasuo and you want your stun and recall stuff with Yasuo and things like that. So, I don't know. There we go. That's Yasuo Zed. Those y'all watching on YouTube, feel free to let me know what do, what do you think of two mana Steel Tempest. You know, what do you think of that card? Uh, what do you think of uh, Yasuo after that? Um, you know, if you, you're doing anything uh, with it that you're having a lot of fun, feel free to leave those comments um, over there on YouTube. But that's going to be it here for Yasuo Zed. Puppy, say bye. Say bye, puppy. Puppy's, puppy's like, I'm ready for, for some food. I can tell it's time for me to get some food. Oh, and there's Harvey. Harvey, say bye. Bye.
<laughs> All right, everybody. Um, thank you so much for watching some Yasuo Zed. Yes, Harvey. And I uh, will see y'all for the next video. Take care.